Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome back to the Speed Chess Championship 2020 and I would like to show you another pairing. So day number five, we have two great players. Number one from Armenia, Levon Aronian, uh, his blitz ranking 2739. In this game, he's gonna play as white and Jan Nepomniashi, his blitz ranking 2785. And in this game, he's gonna play as black. Just a reminder, there is the match and it's three hours match. First 90 minutes, the players play five minutes blitzes with one second incrementation then 60 minutes of three minutes games with the one second incrementation and at the end uh, crazy bullet games with the one minute and one second incrementations uh, and whoever wins of course advance to the quarterfinals at the end i will show you the standing so um, all the players who advance um, already to another round um, and now we already have the first pairing uh, so without further ado let's see what happened in this particular game uh, Levon Aronian opened with e4 we have c5 knight f3 d6 and now d4 open Sicilian would be the main line bishop b5 Moscow variation but in our game we have c3 so a delayed awapin variation we have knight f6 we have bishop e2 g6 we have castle bishop g7 and now most of the player goes for them for the bishop uh, b5 trying to exchange the light square bishops and and after exchange changing uh, the continue from from here so uh, this these are the main ideas here however we have d3 so uh, Levon Aronian still you know doesn't advance to the center uh, still waiting and he played that in the past so he definitely knows what he is doing we have castle pretty standard here and in one game in the database rook e1 was played by Levon Aronian uh, but he lost that game against Artemiev the most popular here is actually knight b to d2 still keeping the bishop on the on the c1 and it seems like white have the bigger chances actually to achieve anything 30 percent of the games are are won however 40 percent black won so this already position which is not open position open sicilian with d4 uh is slightly worse to 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 play for white uh we have bishop e3 and um, this is completely not popular we have only four games in the database um, and actually three of them were won by black and only one draw so uh, Levon goes for uh, for the worst position from the from the beginning uh, in all of, of that games knight c6 was the was the main idea very natural move however Nepo has a different idea and he pushed the pawn on c4 now the point is that he attacks the pawn on d3 which is defender of e4 so so uh, white has to react somehow there is definitely some pressure uh, and Levon uh, choose to play d4 this is the best move in the position exchanging the pawns e4 uh, e pawn for the c pawn so we have knight e4 bishop takes on c4 and now d5 kicking the bishop back bishop d3 we have knight c6 now and now knight b2 d2 so uh, the knight is attacked twice so we have bishop f5 defending and also creating the threat now the knight can jump to c3 because the bishop doesn't have any protection so uh, the bishop is hanging so this is why we have bishop e4 d takes on e4 and now knight g5 attacking the pawn twice and there is um, no way to actually uh, defend that pawn i mean queen d5 was possible but then queen b1 and this pawn gonna be taken um, this way or another this is why nepo strikes in the center counter attack we have e5 d takes on e5 knight takes on e5 uh, knight g to e4 and after exchanging also uh, most of the pieces at the end we have knight c4 threatening to take the bishop and that of course would be uh, pretty bad this pawn on the on the e3 would be definitely a weakness and target for the black pieces this is why we have bishop c5 developing with tempo with the attack on the rook rook e8 now attacking also with tempo the, the knight and now knight g jumps to d6 forcing to exchange the knights uh, of course the knight can be taken also um there is the threat to uh, win the exchange so uh, we have knight d6 uh, bishop takes on d6 and now queen b6 uh, trying to win back the material so the pawn on b2 is uh, of course under attack and also there is the threat that um the, the rook can come to d8 the bishop can come um to to f8 uh, and actually win that bishop as this as this 
bishop would be pinned because the queen is just behind. So bishop a3, now avoiding that and at the same time defending the b2, we have rook a to d8 and now um, queen to c2. We have bishop h6, so Nepo want to bring the rook to the second rank, so that's the preparation. Uh, of course, Levon knows that, so we have rook a to d1 uh, and exchanging uh, on d1. Now we have queen e6, now attacking the pawn on the a2, at the same time uh, threatening the checkmate on e1. So because of this, uh, of course, Levon has to react somehow, um, and he should play probably g3, that would be the most solid, but he went for g3. Uh, the problem with g3 is that the bishop can actually come and control h2, and there is still um, the threat of, of the checkmate. So still, white would have to, you know, uh, always look at the at the first rank and, and, and check what is going on. So, uh, for example, if b4 uh, is played now, uh, after g3, bishop could retreat to c7, uh, and after, let's say, bishop c5, it's a pretty much very double-edged position, because black, yes, have this beautiful diagonal. Uh, also, if the bishop is moved, and then probably bishop would like to get to this diagonal, but this is why the bishop comes to c5, and then to d4, and control the, the, the dark squares. So that would be very, very risky, actually, for black to defend that. Uh, so because of that, uh, Nepo, Nepo didn't go for that variation, uh, but rather he just get back his pawn. And um, so that was very, very greedy. Now the queen is far, far away. Levon answer with the very interesting queen a4, attacking the rook and also attacking the pawn. And now the engine suggests that giving up this pawn is the best idea. So for example, queen a6, give up this pawn and, and after let's say queen a2, the rook is under attack, so rook a1, b5, save that pawn and after let's say queen d7, uh, just to bring the queen back to defense because bishop f4 can come, uh, then queen d1 queen e4 black has some initiative but the position of white is also very very solid so it would not be that easy but definitely black would have some initiative however in our game we have rook a8 defending the pawn uh, but this is the blunder this is actually the blunder because now levon aronian could play but he didn't find the idea a queen h4 so moving the queen uh, first um, to the a4 and then h4 so look at this what could happen. Uh, first, the bishop is under attack and also there are ideas of attacking with the rook on d8 together with the with the queen and keep in mind that this bishop still um, takes care of the f8 square so the bishop would not be possible actually to to retreat to f8 and block this these attacks so that would be very very difficult and also if king g7 the best move in the position and um, the problem is this bishop gonna come to the dark squares and the position is 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 literally lost so, for example, queen e6, bishop d4, then f6, uh, and then first white can win the pawn, so bishop f6, uh, king f7, queen h6, king f6, uh, and then the rook can come also to the game, deliver a couple of checks here, and uh, yeah, for example, uh, connect the major pieces, that would be the idea, but still, rook f4, uh, now if the king goes back, then another pawn's gonna be lost in the game, if king e5 is maybe even worse, because queen g5, and now the king is in the troubles, the, the queen is lost, um, and so on. So queen h4 was the, was the very, very strong idea. However, we have queen e4 centralizing the queen and also simply attacking the another weakness on b7. So simple chess. We have queen b3 defending now and rook d7 concentrating now with the two pieces. Now what to play again? The engine suggests, okay, play bishop f8, exchange these bishops, uh, so bishop f8, uh, rook f8, and give up this pawn, just give up this pawn. Uh, let's say queen d1, king h2, queen d6, g3, continue from here, uh, you don't have much activity, white have um, overwhelming um, activity here, and also these two pawns, especially this uh, passed pawn, protected passed pawn for now can be very, very dangerous, so black would be in a lot of troubles. Um, to avoid that, um, Nepo said, okay, I'm gonna defend my pawn, uh, but again, again, queen h4 was on the board, but Levon again didn't see it, and instead he played actually bishop d6 with the idea 
Again, very simple chess, attacking the rook, and the rook is the defender of b7, so Levon wants to simply win the pawn. Winning the pawn is uh, always a good thing. However, he missed probably this one. Queen d1 with a check, king h2, and now bishop f8. So, as you see, now the bishop is attacked twice. We have now queen f4 defending the bishop and also attacking f7. Uh, and here, Nepo, with not much time on the clock, actually his only choice now is to exchange the bishops. Bishop d6, pinning the queen, pinning the queen, so uh, there is not possible to actually uh, deliver a checkmate on f7 and h7, uh, but rather rook d6. And now the problem is that the queen is under attack, and wherever queen goes, the best move is queen b3, uh, just to pick up the pawn on, um, on b2. Then we have... Uh, little tactic here winning one pawn so again everything is about one pawn only rook g6 h takes on g6 getting back the material with the check and attack on them on the a7 so king h7 queen a7 and then take the pawn uh, and this is what nepo could reach Everything he could reach is actually playing the end game uh, in different config configurations. This time with the queen only. However, with again with the being the pawn less, and that's all a Nepo could get. However, he blundered terribly, uh, and he actually played queen d5 defending the f7 which makes a lot of sense however it is losing move so it's time to pause the video and find the winning a continuation for white uh, there are a couple of them however one is really the best uh, while i enjoy my cup of tea okay ready so there is the one move which actually makes uh, two discovered attacks first discovered attack on the rook which is undefended uh, another with this rook attacking the queen which also is undefended so at the same time what we want to do is actually win the bishop so white wins the bishop the queen is under attack the rook is under attack and and yeah uh, black just doesn't have anything here so this is why after bishop f8 Jan Nepomniachtchi resigned so what could happen is queen d7 then queen b8 um, and there is also the checkmate here uh, bishop h6 not much black can do about that only some moves like f5 making some breathing space for the for the king but still white can easily exchange the queens and and win the game for example uh, bishop e7 with check king f7 now queen f8 um, king e6 queen f6 uh, king d5 and now uh, just exchange the queens and bring the bishop, let's say, wherever to a3, why not? And uh, just win the game with extra bishop, it's of course not a problem. This is why, after bishop f8, uh, Jan Nepomniachtchi resigned. Uh, and these are the standings. So, as you see, uh, Levon Aronian won against Nepo all the match, so congratulations. And in the quarterfinals, he gonna meet Maxim Vasil Lagrave. And today we also going to see the, the match between Hikaru Nakamura, the favorite number one. Uh, he has number one seed in this um, in this tournament against Haik Martirosian. So if you don't want to miss, of course, uh, press subscribe, smash the bell button. Um, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.